Hey everybody, it's Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister and I'm your host. So, we just looked at the hideout and we just looked at Death of a Showman. And now we're going to look at the first proper vintage uh first proper level of the game. Let's begin with a cutscene, shall we? Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. So there's the briefing by Diana, or I think that's her name, right? Anyway, thanks, Diana. Um, as you just saw, here's the briefing on our two targets. Uh, they may or may not give you hints as to how to finish your mission. Doesn't matter to me, though, since I already know. Here's our, uh, equipment selection screen. We played around with a few of these weapons, uh, in the hideout video. But I'll only be taking the silver baller because it's the most practical. Now, you can go to the upgrade screen and upgrade your equipment uh, using the money that you earn from killing people in the previous levels. And I've already equipped the low velocity ammo and the silencer, which will make our silver baller gun very, very quiet. So, let's begin. Have another cutscene. But just.
Okay, here we are in the in the villa. Now, dressed up as Agent Forty Seven, we can't go very far. Let's listen to these guys for a little bit. It's nice to feel respected again. What I tell you, kid, we'll have you back on the A list in six months. Well, I guess I better start greeting my fans. Mingle away, hotshot. So anyway, as we see here, gotta talk some business with the family. What? How? Huh? Anyway, as I was saying, uh, the hitman, Agent Forty Seven, hasn't really been invited. So, there aren't too many places we can go, which is a problem for us, because, well, we need to get into places we're not supposed to go. Um, so basically, I need an outfit. I need an outfit from someone who works here. Uh, probably not this guy, no, he seems like an idiot. Here we go. I think I need to dress up like this guy. He's a guard, he can go places. Now, there are two ways we can get outfits in Hitman Blood Money. First of all, we can kill a guy and then take his clothes. Now, that's risky because people could see you or hear you or they could find the body. And if they found the body, then they would know, hey buddy, how's it going? Okay, yeah. Um, if they found the body, they would all automatically know that you're the guy dressed up as him. That's not good. So, the other way to find uh, an outfit is to actually just find a, an unused outfit on the floor. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, shit. That was not supposed to happen at all. God damn it. That was not supposed to happen. Oh, boy. That was not supposed to happen at all. It did not work out the way I... Wow, that... That thing on your face doesn't look too good. Um... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I fucked up. Um... I'm gonna restart. And I will see you in a moment. Stand by, please.